Well, first, well, well. First things first, this is not a how-to video. Yeah, first things first, this is not a how-to video. This is just us. Part two. Part two, us digging our second dry well. I'll show an update on the first dry well here, one year later. Boop. So right there is where the dry well is. And you can kind of see the grass is different in this area, but pretty full of grass. Let's look inside. Yep, there's some water in there. Can't tell how full it is, but it works. Looks pretty good. We're putting in a dry well because our gutters from our house go underground and they come out right in underground onto the lawn and when it comes out it like shoots out real real fast and you can kind of see it's all eroded yeah it's all kind of brown the grass can't grow the grass can't grow because it just gets, it gets washed away yeah yeah it just gets washed away yeah i don't know if it ever overflows because i like don't go out in like the rainstorms but we put a bunch of sod around it and wow, so weeds yeah, material around it. Um, so um, it doesn't erode anymore, and it's one year later. So yeah, it's a lot of it's a it, it it's fixed, a big improvement. It fixed our problem. Yes, it's fixed our problem. So we bought another dry well because this is the second area where we had this problem, and since the first one worked out so well, we're going to do it again. We're not professionals. We're not pretending to be professionals, um, but. It did a year a year later. I mean, we got a ton of rain. It rains like every day. Yes, we get like at least half an inch like a day. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it it fixed our our problem. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so it doesn't have to be perfect to improve your situation. We're really hoping that this area doesn't have as much clay um, type soil, but probably does. It probably does. <laughs> so if you want to see two average Joe people like us not listening to all the instructions and trying to get it done to for the sake of getting it done you're in the right place <laughs> <laughs> well we listened to most of the instructions I it know. was it was <laughs> the only thing we didn't do was we were limited by how clay the soil was and how big a hole we could dig because we just had to stop digging at one point because we were making our father my father-in-law your dad do it yeah he and was helping old, us you know? He's not that old. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, it was really hot, and it's really hot today, and so we had uh, to do the best the we year. could. Oh, I found it. <laughs> yeah, very clay. Yeah. Very clay like. So I don't know if we're gonna save all this odd. Oh, yeah, we, that's what we did last time. We kind of put it back on. Yeah. Do you see the hole? Yeah, it's right here. This is it. This oh, pipe. right there. Hang on, let me get another angle. It's like really hard to see. But you can see, that's the pipe. Oh, wow. And we're gonna put this on top so that any excess water can pop out the top and drain. And so we have to dig a four foot wide hole. Looking good.
we dug the hole the proper amount, maybe even a little bit bigger, if you can believe. Deeper. We dug it four feet and then we put the well in there and we're like... That's a lot of space. But you need a lot of space so it can drain because I hope that's not our cat down there. Is it a black dot? Oh, it's a bird. It's a bird. <laughs> um, you need a lot of space for the clay soil so it has more... Oh, there's a cat over there. Anyway. You need a lot of space for the clay soil because it takes a long, more long, a little longer to drain and so having more gravel um, gives it a little more time. So we don't have the gravel yet. We'll He's get it. Something. We'll get it tomorrow. Get over there. Yeah, something. it is. So we'll get the gravel <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> we'll get the gravel tomorrow, and um, we got to dig up the pipe. We'll dig up the pipe a little bit to see, cause there's a little crack it's, in it. Yeah, collapsed there. And then we'll see, cause we have some extra pipe from the last dry well, and we'll see if. We connector or something like that yeah. to connect it into the well. So we just need gravel and we should finish it tomorrow. It's not supposed to rain so hopefully it doesn't fill up. Well even if it does it's supposed to fill up with water. Yeah. And drain. Yep. So job well done for this afternoon. Greg did most it, of the digging. If it doesn't work we'll just have a nice hole. Yeah. We'll have a nice little water storage area. Yeah. A cistern. Yeah. So it's a couple of days later, we went to the store and we got a coupler to attach to the pipe so we can add a little bit more so that it can go into the dry well. And we also got 26 bags of gravel. Hopefully that will be enough. And we drove the car up on the lawn by the hole to unload it. So let's get into it. So here's the old pipe. And we uncovered part of it, and there's part of it that's a little crunched, and there's some junk in there. And so we dug out underneath it so it goes a little bit more downhill towards the hole, so junk doesn't like settle here. And we're gonna cut maybe right here, and um, couple it with new um, pipe that will go into the bucket. Barrel. Yeah, this is the junk that was in the slot. Days and days, years maybe, of just bugs. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dead bugs. And there's inside the pipe. You, you. Ready to get that white glove service. <laughs> So now I'm going to put the coupler in. It just goes inside the old pipe. Now that I cleaned it out. Let's see. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Yeah, it fits in there. I think it's in. Cool. It keeps accordioning. Oh, there you go. Whoa, nice. So now we need to pop out all these little drainage holes. And then one of the holes at the top, and this is the one where the new pipe is going to enter in. We're also going to knock this hole out because that's where the overflow is going to come out, out of the lid. So I'm going to try to knock that out with a chisel. Hey. <laughs> so I bought 
this separately and this will go on top. the whole thing I'm gonna cut out the hole where the pipe needs to come through. I thought we said this isn't a how-to video. It's not a how-to video. Don't do it this way. Um, this is the worst well, way you I could do it. After I cut it you might need to tape, tape around the hole. So now we're going to line the hole with landscape fabric and we just kind of drape it like an X so that it overlaps and if it doesn't, well maybe we'll do like three. So you can see we took three long pieces and just kind of went like X, X, and then one long one here. And then we just wrapped up the pipe because it has some holes in it. And so to prevent dirt from clogging it up, we wrapped it up. So now we can put some stones in the bottom until it's raised up enough where we can put the barrel in. And then we'll put stones around it. So we ended up securing this landscape fabric with garden stakes, little um, staples.
while. <laughs> Once it got the momentum. I think it could be a little higher. Okay. Just slightly, because I feel like it's a little bit too low, but we can just move the rocks around. What do you think? I think that looks pretty good. So we need a little bit more stone. Other than that, it's like so close being done. <laughs> So we decided to put a tarp over the dirt pile so it wouldn't get wet and then wash into the hole because it seems like it's going to rain and we got to get more gravel tomorrow and then we can cover it up and finish it then. So the tarp held up last night. I don't think it really rained that much but we didn't get any erosion so that's good. We got... <laughs> We got 12 more bags of stone at the store. I think that should do it. Now we're gonna cut some landscape fabric and put it around the edge because we didn't really have enough excess to really cover this. And so we're just gonna cover it a little bit better so the dirt that we put on top doesn't get in there. And get it all dirty instead of just having the rock so it can drain better. And then we'll cover it with dirt after that. So there you have it. It doesn't look that good right now. But I think we're going to get some topsoil and grass seed and it will look just fine. And now, if it overflows, this thing will pop up and it can overflow off the edge. Instead of always shooting out, it will only shoot out if the whole dry well is full. And we can always check in there. If we need to. Huh. <laughs> So today, it's a while since we've um, installed it, but it's the first time since we've had kind of like a steady rain and maybe about a half an inch over the past 24 hours. And I wanted to show you how much water is inside the dry well. So you can see there's some water in there, but it's basically just around the base of it. I don't know if you can really tell, but there's definitely some water in there. So basically any amount that's coming from the gutters to the dry well is avoiding it just dispersing over the grass and eroding it even more and so it's really helpful to have the dry well and catch it all instead of eroding it so we like it <laughs> Silverado. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow, that's like. That's like the beginning of a sitcom. <laughs>